been working uh, with installation and community type projects for uh, a long time. I would say from the beginning, starting with graduate school even. So one of the first jobs I got out of school uh, with my MFA was actually working with uh, San Francisco Arts and Education Foundation as an artist in residence. And it's one of my main teaching experiences where I was um, very excited to work with teachers and come up with um, art projects around their curriculum. And uh, being able to sort of think in those terms has expanded the way I think about my own projects and has um, really uh, informed my projects, my community projects afterwards, even my teaching at college level these days is very much influenced by those early experiences. So this project circles my whole practice of the past 25 years. Um, back um, to SF Arts Ed and working with this particular community. A very different process altogether that is going to be the first time I'm working where it's like medium material, working with planting and growing things, definitely new to my practice. I have, um, haven't really worked with uh, seeds or planting in my art projects before, so I'm very excited about that part. I have also worked a lot with community. A lot of the times it's been very specific community. So community of artists, community of um, artists, maybe even from the Middle East, region, artists from Iran specifically, and I've seen that as, and also in terms of community, uh, community of Iranians in diaspora, community of Iranians in the Bay Area, um, immigration stories, and so on. So it's been kind of, I've seen it as my role to become um, a, a platform for those voices in different projects. And um, as years has gone, there are more people who are doing that. I feel like I can uh, put that to rest in some ways and um, look at where I am, specific place that I've lived in for the past 30 some years. And I'm very conscious of being on stolen land more than I've ever been. And also this particular neighborhood, which is Dog Patch, Bayview Harness Point. I'm going to be celebrating the 25th year of being in this neighborhood, but basically as my workspace, right? I started at Harness Point, went to Yosemite Building, which is further down in Bayview, and now at Minnesota Street, which is kind of just a step outside of that in Dog Patch as it's developing and everything. The focus of the project is what can I learn from others, you know, in this process. So, uh, in fact, when I was thinking about what's the first question or was what I want present in the space, uh, in the gallery, was like a big thing saying, teach me, <laughs> because I realized that, you know, being from elsewhere and kind of being limited in my exposure to different areas and different neighborhoods, even different communities, um, in the Bay Area that I've, has been my home for 40 years. Um, I've realized how little I know, you know, I guess I knew about the toxic um, waste in, in Harness Point, but I also had my studio there for 10, 12 years, so I tried to ignore it, you know, and I knew I shouldn't drink the water, but that, I didn't dig deep enough. And of course, you know, the knowledge and research tools that we have now is has expanded quite a bit. That access is much easier. You can, um, because of all the development that is happening, there's also been a lot of um, articles and, you know, um, research that has happened in the Bayview. So a lot of that history is new to me, or I'm learning more and more and more as I'm doing research. Um, and, you know, the, the ways that the land has shifted and changed throughout the years and all of the different communities that have made it home all this, this time. I'm also like, fascinated by data and all the research that um, goes into it to talk about the different types of people. I mean, you, have, you can have access to so much information, but I really am interested in people's 
personal narratives and I'm hoping to be able to do that through this project.